Hi, welcome, 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 welcome. Court here. Welcome, welcome. We're going to do my gummy bears, okay? Um, what I've been doing is the first row is, you know, Gemini energy. And the second row is outside influences, what's going on, okay? Um, I want you to remember this is a general for thousands of people. So you it could also be the opposite way around, okay? But initially... This would be my gummy bears, and this would be outside influences, okay? <clears throat> so, let's see what's going on, my dearies. That was the page of cups that flew out to for somebody. I feel like it's going to make its way back out. So, <clears throat> we got the wheel, got the five of pence, and the king of cups. Something is about to turn in a really good direction for you guys, okay? Um... <clears throat> So something is going to turn in your direction, even though it's just like, geez, okay? Because this is, you're losing your patience when it comes to something for sure, okay? Um, if you guys just went through a breakup, um, it was meant to go down that way. So you have a new opportunity with somebody new coming, okay? Um, to me, I don't know if you were in a marriage or a long-time commitment, but something Something's not going great, okay? Um, this King of Cups, I, I kind of feel like... I can't tell whose energy is who yet, if you're the King of Cups or the Emperor, but regardless, there's, you know, lack of patience, feeling irritable, you know, no longer, no longer dealing with the bullshit that's going on. You're pouring your cup out. You're not, you're not having it. To me, there's, there's lies somewhere. Okay, and I don't know if it has to do with the emperor, the relationship, the marriage, whatever it is, but you're losing your patience and you no longer, you definitely no longer want to put the, the work in. Okay, um, so that's what we're looking at in the next two weeks is leaving a situation behind, regardless. Regardless if you're getting the clarity or not, you've just kind of have lost it with this. Um, tell me about this emperor. Whoa, whoa. It's like a story all by itself. All right. So, yeah, the Ten of Swords, the Seven of Pence, the Tower, and the Lovers, okay? So, I don't know if there was somebody else involved, but it's almost like someone doesn't want to make a decision either, okay? Um, it is the end of the cycle, though. All right, it's 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 time to balance out your own energy, okay? Normally, some people would look at the Seven of Pence as, you know, thinking this investment's never going to come, so you take your pet and leave, you know? But with this card, he's holding that pet, and the other six are here. You know what I'm saying? So to me, it's, you know, with the Ten of Swords, it's you invested time somewhere, a household, a job, something, and it came crashing down, okay? Um, and I think you've you've just had enough of your situation. And to me, with the lovers, you know, it's... It, the situation, I think there was temptation. I think somebody left because of temptation. Um, so tell me about the five of pence. So feeling, I want this one, feeling a little lonely, but you cut it out of your life, okay? You're like, I'm done with the bullshit, and you cut that shit out, all right? So, you know, good for you. I also know it's a tough scenario, too, okay? Because it's, it's a karmic wrap-up. You're dealing with a karmic situation that's done, 
for right now, you know, um, whether it comes back in the future or not, you cut something out and from the looks of it, it looks like it was the right thing to do because you were just stressing out. You were losing your patience. You weren't getting the truth. You know, um, you invested feelings and time into a situation that, um, you needed to cut out of your life. So I kind of feel like some of you wanted it back, but with the tower here, it's, it's a no-go. All right. And to me, yeah, I think there was a third party. You're definitely not sleeping. You know, you're now confronting your anxieties. The person you were dealing with anyway was a stickler. Okay. Um, set in their ways. You know, you were probably catering to this person anyway. So let's see what the external energy is. External energy for my gummy bears. You guys are gummy bears. You're going to bounce back, okay? So no communication right now with this person. All right, the Empress. So I feel I feel like this was a marriage or a very long time commitment. Okay, um, this person is not putting any effort into. If you're a female Gemini, you know, or a Taurus, and not put an effort into reaching out anymore. But it looks like you, the female, cut it out anyway because something something went down. All right, yeah, the Death card in the Tower. You're definitely dealing with a karmic wrap up. All right, temperance, it's, you know, this person now needs to temper their energy and balance out the scales. Um, but again, I think you were dealing with somebody who didn't pour their emotions out, didn't talk about certain stuff. I mean, this person, it also needs to heal. This is a very karmic situation, and it looks like they wanted to keep their options open when it came to something. So... I think like, I feel like they did something sneaky. All right, we have the four of swords reversed and then the four of, of wands reversed. This is, you know, the crumbling of a foundation. You know, I, I, you know, this person's on a new path and it looks like they're on a new path with somebody else, unfortunately. Okay. So I'm sorry. Um, for the loss, if it's it's if it's still extremely painful, okay. This is one of these blessings in disguise. I, I don't think there's no going back to this with the tower and the death card. There's no going back to this right now, okay. Communication shut off. Deceit, deception, self sabotage, a shit ass scenario. Nothing's moving forward, but I'm telling you. That new style is, is the universe is not gonna allow it, okay? Um, with this wheel of fortune, I, I know it's like it's, it's a sucks scenario for sure, okay? But um, it was supposed to go down this way, it was very karmic. And as soon as you heal and start, start getting out of this energy, um, you have something great, okay? So tell me about the wheel, what's the wheel gonna bring? You know, it, it's it's the high priestess. Um, I feel like the way it was like sideways. You 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 weren't using your intuition. You've been seeing signs for a very long time. I feel like there's still something that needs to be exposed. But I feel like you know. I mean, you could have caused the third party, or it's again, it's it's vice versa. Okay. Um, or it was them. It was definitely looks like a third party here. All right, but there's your ten of cups when it's all said and done. Like I said, this is a blessing in disguise, and I know sometimes it, it's really hard to um, accept that, you know, but there was definitely competition. Chances are you had a family, but to me, I, I, I clarified, you know, what the outcome will be in the long run. And you will find fulfillment. It just won't be in this situation. It was meant to go down the way it went down, okay? So I'm going to pull additional cards. This is, you know, if any messages come out, 
whomever it's for, cross watcher, or for my, my gummy bears, okay? So, bounce back. You guys are way too sweet not to bounce back from this, okay? This, honestly, blessing in disguise. It says, get the fuck out of your head. Okay? It misses you. So, thoughts, whatever's going on. I kind of see it dissipating anyway, so I'm not too worried about it, okay? But go go have fun. It says, stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on the other person, just stop. Spend your time on someone that's worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness, okay? So, like I said, it, it's so karmic that there's just, it's, it's a waste of time. I'm telling you, it's a, it truly is a blessing in disguise. Okay, so hang in there. I love you guys. Bye.